This is a Game Caviar production. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Not having it in the Game Caviar Lounge. Playing some Black Ops 2 on PC. Don't let the on-screen prompts fool you. This is PC. I'm just using my Xbox 360 controller because I am lazy. And I don't feel like setting up my mouse and, and all that stuff. So, Wow, how did that dude not die? All right, what I was talking about, um, well, what I wanted to talk, what, whoa, whoa, hold up. What I wanted to talk about is the, uh, damn, how did that happen? He just drop shot me with a shotgun? What happened there? Seriously? Um, what I was, what I wanted to talk about, actually, I made a video, uh, a few minutes ago and it didn't come out too well this is my first time recording a video through fraps on a computer we must be playing headquarters I, I got into this match and I don't even know what Mac what game mode this is and I'm getting mops anyway uh, what I want to talk about was advanced warfare I know everybody's all excited for that they just showed the multiplayer reveal and all that jazziness so I wanted to uh, really reach out to the community a few people who actually watch these videos I appreciate the views but um I wanted to to see what you guys thought about the video and uh, what you think about the game what are your expectations for this game because I know that they're what the hell I thought that he was dead I know that uh, ghost is out now of course Oh my goodness. I know that Ghost is out now, and I'm going to say that I enjoyed Ghost. I enjoyed it more on PS4 as opposed to PS3. But um, I had a pretty good time with Ghost. Um, uh, one thing that I didn't like in the beginning was the, the big maps. I did not enjoy the big maps. I thought that they were stupid. I didn't like them. Uh, but after a while, the DLC really helped that game out, and they brought back a few of the older maps. Like they brought back, um, what was it? They brought, uh, they brought, what was it? Favala? Was it Favala? They brought one of the old classics back from Modern Warfare 2, and including the the AC-130, which is an amazing kill streak that should be in all Infinity Ward, Call of Duty games, or all Call of Duty games in general. Doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed Ghost. I thought the connection was a lot better. It wasn't perfect, but it was better than it was in previous Call of Duty games, at least for me. I don't know how it, it was for you. Man, they are killing me with this shotgun. Matter of fact, let me see here. Shotty, shotty, shotty. Boom, there it is. Oh, what? Oh, the target is in here. Anyway, what are your, what are your expectations for, good Lord. What are your expectations for advanced warfare? Uh, I don't know whether they're gonna have, uh, what is it? Um, gee whiz, man. Dedicated servers or not, hopefully they will. Uh, I really haven't heard anything about that. I need to do some research on that uh, because that would definitely help. What they have in Ghost is not bad. I really, I, there have been connection issues, but it's not as much as it was in previous Call of Duties, like I said before. The exosuit thing looks like it's going to get played out pretty soon. Hopefully they have a, a mode where you don't have the exosuit. I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for like a bare bones mode. I know that's like a, a slim probability of that happening. But uh, when they saw like when the dude was getting chased by the other guy and then like he did a jump over a ledge and then came down behind the guy. That's lame, man. Like that, I can see that being abused in so many ways that it angered me seeing that. So hopefully they tone it down. Maybe they they make it to where you can't just. Maybe it's just like a boost, like a like you do a double jump and then you have to wait for it to re re um recharge. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out. Uh, but I'm gonna be straight up and say I'm not really too excited for the next Call of Duty. Uh, it's just not something that I can see myself playing. So, 
So, um, good lord, man. These guys are all over the place. They're upstairs, downstairs, in your face, behind you. Oh, man, I thought it was the enemy. Come on, man. Uh, but, yeah, the thing about Advanced Warfare is I wasn't, I was excited when they said Sledgehammer was making it. But after seeing it, I'm like, eh, you know, it's, it's whatever. Uh, Battlefield Hardline is definitely something that I'm looking forward to, and I'll probably end up getting that over um, Advanced Warfare. I'm not saying that I won't get Advanced Warfare, but I'm not going to be at the midnight release at GameStop or, or buying the, what is it called, the, what was it called, the pre-package or whatever they said it was, where you can play for 24 hours or... I'm definitely not going for all that. That's not something that I'm interested in this time around. I'm going to wait for reviews and not like IGN reviews, but like player reviews. People who actually have the game and play it and you know, not necessarily um, have biased views. But I want to see what players like myself think of the game before I go out and buy it. They don't do Call of Duty betas, so... Um, you know that's not gonna happen so you just gotta deal with waiting for the game you just gotta be patient wait for the game to come on and see what the players are saying I really wish that he would load that shotgun a tad bit faster after all you are in a battle why is there somebody spawning behind me this game man let's see I'm gonna run I'm gonna run for it Oh, my aim is so off in this game. Although Black Ops 2 had its faults, this is a pretty fun game. And Advanced Warfare looks like a Black Ops 2.5. So, <laughs> I mean, that's really, it, it seems like Sledgehammer had a half a game and then they handed it off to, um, uh, not Sledgehammer, Treyarch had, like, Black Ops 2.5 made and then they handed it off to Sledgehammer. Uh, hopefully the um got you. boom that's awesome inbound. hopefully the uh how am i missing this guy hopefully the the second um the uh the the, the two-year window between these call of duty games will help do it some good as far as quality goes uh but oh, that has yet to be seen I will say that Infinity Ward is is pretty much one of my favorite companies that makes Call of Duty games. Um, I recently uh, rebought Modern Warfare 3 because when it was on Xbox, I had it on Xbox 360. I was doing work in that game, and I had a lot of fun with that game. So, the only thing I didn't like about that is that when you got to the point to where you could get a gold weapon, it like from 1 to 30 was cool but when you got to 30 it was like I think 30 was the max level but it was like it was crazy how much um how much XP was required to get it so that that was something that I didn't like at all how did I not knife that guy oh whatever anyway in the uh in, what's the school limit oh 250 points all right we could do this. We could do this. We're down 115 to 150. We can do this. Oh, run over here. What? What's that gonna do to stuck in mud? I'm also playing on the controller, so one of the things that I would never in my life uh, recommend somebody to do is play this game with a controller on PC because you will get waxed and this is prime evidence what that should have been a double man come on I have the shotgun the shotgun that's something I definitely don't want to see in advanced warfare is that target finder that was one of the cheapest things ever that was like the the one man army version it wasn't as bad as one man army on youtube but it was pretty bad in this game uh, the good thing is is that they really limited your view 
when you used it, but it's, it's going to be one of those things. There's always something in Call of Duty that people use that's going to... Really? Really? Really, dude? <laughs> what? Anyway, um, yeah, it's always something in Call of Duty that people are going to abuse and... It's probably not going to get nerfed. I don't know how Sledgehammer is going to do. They did some work on uh, Modern Warfare 3. So maybe this game is going to be pretty. I'm connecting the dots here. Maybe this game is not going to be that bad after all. Sledgehammer is doing it, you know? Maybe. Was it? It was. Let me get my game mixed up. I don't know. I think it was Modern Warfare 3. Anyway. Damn. Timeline is they should bring that back. The old dolphin dive. The slide and ghost is cool, but come on, you're not gonna be able to beat that. Oh boy, you about to get blasted. Damn it. We can do this. Ooh, not with this. Not with this though. Oh, I don't think we're gonna have enough time. So I know I've been rambling on a little bit. This match has been very hectic, so uh, just let me know what you think about Advanced Warfare, especially what are your what are your expectations for this game? And if somebody knows whether they have dedicated a service or not, please let me know because I'm really curious to do it, and I know I'm going to forget about it. Ooh, ooh, I know I'm going to forget about it if um, I don't look it up within a short amount of time which i don't see myself doing but anyway not having it in the game caviar lounge this has been black ops 2 on pc i got my ass beat and we lost the match and i'm out this has been a game caviar production like this video and subscribe for more